Hello, Steeler Nation. I'm your host, Jesus. Welcome to your Steeler Nation podcast, part of the DK Pittsburgh Sports Podcast Network and sponsored by Total Sports Enterprises, and now also sponsored by MyBookie. Use promo code STEELERS to double your first deposit and have free access to the $50,000 Survivor Contest at MyBookie.ag. But today, I'm excited to have a special player who must be a glutton for punishment back for his third appearance on the Steeler Nation podcast. Pittsburgh Steeler, right tackle, Zach Banner. Zach, awesome to have you back on the show, man. How you been? Thanks for having me, man. I appreciate it. Oh, you know, you're always welcome on our show, and we're always happy to have you, man. I'm sorry, too, that I I missed out on the great fun at the softball game um, over here in the summertime, man. How was that for you? Yeah, it was a good experience. Um, Obviously, it was for a great cause, but we had fun and – showed why we were athletes and some of us aren't <laughs> and showed why some of us are, are podcasters and broadcasters as opposed to being athletes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well said and um zach I, I know all the steeler nation wants to know how are you feeling right now man yeah hey, i'm getting better man actually i'm icing my knee right now as we speak sorry for the that's great informal oh uh, but uh you know it's just it's getting better and better every day um just sucks, man. Like just right now, like yeah. just being I, right now. But and I, I know not, you, it's not going to be too much longer. I just, you know, I have to, I have to make sure it's right. And right. I mean, it's just killing me, you know, like I'm, I, I'm not, I'm not on really any social media. Mm. Um, just kind of keeping to myself and going to bed early and yeah, just working every single day. I mean, and, just, uh, yeah. It's a process. Yeah, and I know you're such a competitor. I know you want to be out there helping your boys and helping your team. So, I, you know, we feel you, man. I'm praying for you um, and can't wait to get you back and get you healthy and get you back the right way, too. So that's the most important thing for Steeler Nation. Um, because obviously we know you're not allowed to talk about a timeline for coming back, but um, are you at least starting to feel that you're moving toward the right direction, things starting to work out for you here a bit? Yeah, everything's been going, you know, as planned. Um, okay. Sometimes that, uh, sometimes that plan was adjusted and it was pushed back. But yeah, it's uh, it's full steam ahead. I'm I'm picking up more activity every single day. Good. Uh, yeah. So, tell Steeler Nation what the normal routine then is like for a player when they're on an injured reserve. How are you able to interact with the team? What's game day like? And uh, and Just what's your everything. normal day to day? Everything but practice and mm-hmm. actually playing. Like I'm yeah. there watching. I'm in every meeting, giving my advice, listening, learning, adjusting, right. just being a part of the team. Um, and more, you know. Like I'm, 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 I'm in early, really early. Um, just doing my rehab, doing yeah. my rehab in between meetings, doing my rehab in between practices, and. Mm-hmm. Doing my rehab after and before bed, and it's just the full day process. I'm still yeah. on the team. I'm just not on the field. Gotcha. And since I know that you're watching the games and you're, you're getting to see a lot of what I'm probably, you know, I, I break down a lot of film and I'm starting to see some good improvement out of this uh, young team and across the offensive line in general. And what are you seeing specifically out of this team when you're watching them or from the sideline, when you're watching them on film? Um, how are they looking? What are they doing to improve? And how do you see them um, gelling here in the next couple of weeks? I mean, the effort is real. The <laughs> yeah. coach that um, it's not like guys are loafing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. It's 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 an idea of how is it that we get better every single day? Mm-hmm. You know, even the day after a loss, even the you right. know the loss itself. How do we get better from that? Um, you got to criticize your work. Mm-hmm. You have to, you know, be able to examine it from the good and the bad and the ugly. And you just have to fix it as a professional athlete. If you can't do that, you're fired. Yeah. Plain and simple. Right. And, you know, no one wants that. And do I think that there was that drastic of a weekend? No. Mm-hmm. It's literally things here and there, just here and there. Like, mm-hmm. Every single play, just here and there, inconsistencies that can be fixed and need to be fixed. Mm -hmm. 
And is that part, I mean, obviously this is a, a new offensive line in Pittsburgh. You're only returning Chooks. Your boy Chooks is the starter. You got two rookies on the line. Um, but the first thing I guess I want to talk about is two rookies starting. You got Green and Moore starting over at left tackle, Green in the middle. Um, can you talk about their development and what made them NFL ready so quickly? I think they're just dedicated to the to the to the process and to the to the game, man. Like both of them made plans this summer. You know, KG made, you know, he after OTAs he stayed here. He went home to visit his child and then he he, oh. he came out here and stayed out here and worked out with me this whole offseason when oh. we were at the facility. You know what I mean? And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. He kind of just took on that role of dedicating himself early. I mean, you know that mm -hmm. I did the same processes for my yeah. first couple of years here of staying here and it, it kind of yeah. just you, it puts yourself around the city. It puts yourself around the grind. And it also gives you unbelievable resources that he wouldn't have. He said, it's yeah. funny because he said that he would have just had a, a an elliptical and some dumbbells wow. and worked out back home. Yeah. And, you know, you, you the the fortunate thing is if you want to stay in the city, you, you, you get everything for free, all of the, all of the facilities. So, yeah. and the coaching and, and the one-on-one, -on -one, you know, experience and just brothers you know fellowship and brotherhood right. um definitely got to kick it with him over the summer and dan went went back a little bit for some time and he came back out he went back to texas to visit his family and he came back out and you know did the similar uh he came in a little bit later didn't stay as long but came in early before camp and it just they've dedicated themselves and they dedicate the time and taking care of their bodies they 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 learned how to be a pro and now they're taking it and just ascending bottom line i'm so yeah. proud of them that's awesome. And even like KG, he's essentially learning a new position here and excelling because yeah. it snaps are coming back nice and crisp, good height, good quickness. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of that. I know we had some inconsistencies, unfortunately, with uh, Pouncey battling with stuff, but we know Pouncey's an all-world Hall of Famer. Um, what helped KG the most at becoming such a good snapper? Do you know who was directly working with them on that or what specific uh i guess exercises he was doing or, or techniques he was learning would, to to be consistent at being you long, would being have center. you would okay. have to ask him that because I, I i don't i wasn't snapping with him i mean he would he, one yeah. thing that he would do you know consistently is he would you know have a have a um like a ball fake snapping mm -hmm. you know i mean when we're working on the field and then like just yeah he would he he, he did a lot of self-work with that man you got to ask him about that Okay, no worries, man. I appreciate it. We and just lifted, ran, and did some pass sets and stuff like that, and, and individual work like footwork and stuff like that. Gotcha. I gotcha. So now that you have those two rookies, you obviously have Big Dot start starting in his uh, second year. Uh, you got a new starter with Trey Turner um, coming in as a veteran. I'm obviously a, a highly decorated veteran, being a Pro Bowler and that. Um, with Chooks being the only returner, like how tough is this job now for Coach Clem to try to get these guys all on the same page and gelling moving forward while they while the NFL obviously September's the learning month. We always know September's the learning month for everybody. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah no, it's it's a um it's a group effort, man. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Coach Clem does a great job at heading that. I think the biggest thing that we did this week was talk to each other. And mm -hmm. like talk about things that we did, and fessing up to it, and it was hard. You know what I'm saying? And, and yeah, that type of you know just continuity and mm -hmm. just it, it 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 is a maturation process as a group. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, like you know, me sitting in the back of the room with my leg elevated doesn't help right now. Yeah, can't wait to get back. Yeah. But it's it's one of those types of things that we have to watch grow, and mm -hmm. but it has to be a demanded growth. Like there's no standard right. that, you know what I'm saying? It's just we just didn't get the job done. Simple. Like I love the mentality. I love the attitude around the room. I love everything that's going on. Continuing at this, we just have to do it. Yeah. Now, your boy Chooks, he's the starting right tackle currently for the team. Obviously, he was the starting right tackle last year, all year. 
this year he was pre- planning the entire year to prepare and play at left tackle. I know with your injury, he was asked to move back to the right with more being more comfortable playing on the left. But tell Steeler Nation, how difficult is it for a tackle to play at an NFL level and have to go between being a right tackle and being a left tackle? Just imagine eating your food with your other hand. Yeah. Just do that. And I know, like, if I, you know, if I bare hand food, I know that's easy to do, but I'm serious. Like, try eating with yeah. your other hand. Try, mm-hmm. try, and that, and that might just sound a little simple, but it really is. Mm-hmm. Like, do it every single time, efficiently. Yeah. The yep. same exact way. It's, I, I don't know about any other simple things other than the bathroom and using your hand for the other hand for that. <laughs> I just felt like that wasn't appropriate. But I, out of those two <laughs> no, that's things, good. That's always good, Zach. Out of those two things, yeah. I don't, you know, get what I'm saying? So it's, yeah. it's something that like your feet, your hands, your eyes, how you play, where you punch, where your hand places. I mean, I feel right. like people have stronger hands. You know what I mean? We are hand dominant just naturally as right. human beings. Yeah. Let alone we have stronger sides, and str- mm-hmm. and and especially when you work at that all off season. Yeah. But uh, you know, I, I I commend him for being a team guy and and, mm. and getting it done. Yeah, because I I'd even say it's almost like playing baseball and trying to pitch opposite. Because it, that's yeah, you can throw is. a ball with your opposite hand, but not as hard. People, not as people accurate. might think that might be more dramatic, but they just yeah. don't have the experience like. It's hard to tell them to go perfect their pass set for a year, right? And then do reverse it. Reverse the body. Yeah, switch your yeah. staggers and yeah. do it. It's hard. You can't. You can't. You can't. You cannot make that comparable for normal people. Right. Right. You have to have some kind of athletic understanding to to really understand how switching that around would be as draft because honestly the average fan is going to think oh he was a swing tackle it's easy to go from left to right it anybody can do that he's a professional athlete he should be able to do that but you're right it's it's a completely different set of muscle memory set of stances your your uh, you know your drop back is completely different your footwork's completely different um yes. yeah so have did you ever play any left tackle as well or were you always kind of locked in at right tackle yeah at at a, um, at SC I actually played three games because my left tackle was there the entire time I was there at SC yeah. and we graduated together. <laughs> That's um, awesome. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Man. Like, so like I've always been right tackle mm-hmm. and that's, that's what I am. And that's what I, you know, that's what I will continue to be. Now, when they had you in as the extra tackle uh, back in your earlier years with the Steelers, mm-hmm. I know sometimes you would come in on the right side. Sometimes you come in on the left yeah. side, but, but is that, that's got to be kind of a little bit different because in that stance, most of the time you're run blocking as opposed to uh, going out and, and pass blocking and trying to do your drops. But it's, uh, it's even more deeper than that. It's it's yeah. the fact that you're the swing tackle at the time too. So one of the tackles goes down oh. to the next guy that goes up. Yeah, yeah. You know, so and, that's yeah. And just being prepared yeah, to be that you, next you man already up. you already go left hand right hand with that when you when you're a swing tackle type thing. But when you're just when you're getting ready to. To, to, to play as a position before a season, though, that's different. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Now, we we heard you talking on the fan. You had a great uh, interview with the guys over there um, on, on, on radio. And you brought up that something happened on the sideline uh, when Ben was hit by Max Crosby and – seemed like nobody helped them up and there was some I've words been informed i've been informed not to talk about that anymore. okay not a problem we will cut that from the podcast <laughs> not a problem <laughs> but now we're at the point of the of the podcast where we start taking questions from steeler nation and this portion is sponsored by my bookie go to mybookie.ag use promo code steelers to double your first deposit and get instant access to the $50,000 survival pool. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with mybookie.ag and don't forget the promo code STEALERS to double your initial deposit. Now, these questions from Steeler Nation come from the SteelerNation.com forum. Membership is free. Our members get to ask the first questions to our guests via the football forum. So come on over and join Steeler Nation at SteelerNation.com. First question from Slash Steel. Uh, he asked, I saw a while back you were preparing. I'm going to wait for this to pass. The cops <laughs> showing up. Yeah, they got <laughs> me. Yeah. Steeler Nation, you're out of here, man. 
They, they know I'm traveling. I'm, I'm down. I'm down in Washington football team territory since they don't have a, a mascot. Run the question I'm... back. Oh, <laughs> so slash steel over from the SteelerNation.com forum. Uh, Notice that a while back that you were preparing that Jewish dish, helping to raise awareness. Is it a must? Must try? What was the dish? And it's always good that you are always out there trying to make a difference. Dude, it's called challah. And ah. it's, you're, uh, you're, it's spelled C H A L L two L's. Yeah. Chala. Uh, <laughs> and, and it's not chala bread. It's just chala. That's what it's okay. called. And you have to say it like that. It's not chala. I, I yep. was calling it chala. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but then I was properly correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, it's fire. Oh my oh. goodness. It's so good. It's <laughs> so good, Strike. Like oh. it's, uh, oh. it's, there's, there's a couple different flavors. You can have chocolate chip. There's oh, this, wow. there's this, um, oh, this, this coffee bread one crunch, coffee br crunch bread one. That's, oh my goodness. And there's just plain. And then also what you can do is this is the secret and is, uh, you can, you can save it for the next morning and make French toast out of it. And it's absolutely fantastic. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, yes. Oh, and that's that so great. And of course, like we can all, it was such a good idea to do that because we can always identify with each other through food. And Breaking that was bread, brother. That is it, my all, man. <laughs> all peace between faiths, cultures, and people uh, have always been over food. Yeah, I, I feel that 100%. Um, and, and just remind Steeler Nation, um, you know, what it is that we're making sure that we're trying to um, um, bring each other together in this, in this light. Yeah, it's um, it, it was a thing done with the the Hollaback Girls. Um, it's a, oh. a nonprofit, a Jewish nonprofit, and just it's just really just um, you know really being inclusive and just and just being with each other, and 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 really just combining uh, cultures and faiths and different parts of the, the 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 country that makes us so great you know what i yeah. mean and that's the that's the bones of it yeah oh that's great that is awesome and that's a great name for a uh, a group the Hala back girls <laughs> they're great they're a great organization that set us up it's fantastic oh that's great uh mighty guru has a question for you what is your favorite restaurant in the Berg? Oh. Wow. If you got a couple, we, we can talk about it, man. I'm down. I love talking food. <laughs> Loaded question. I'll give you a solid day right now. Cause okay. I, as I eat all over the city and yeah. I, I make sure I show love like in all places, solid breakfast, Kelly O's in the street. Oh. Yep. Uh, Lunch, you can. Oh, Noodle Head is fire. Ooh, where's Noodle Head? That's it. That's oh. not a really, really good. East Liberty. We'll look that up. And I will. You guys know. <laughs> dinner. Uh -huh. Dinner at Ala Familia. But, what is that one again? Ala Familia. Uh, how do you spell that? Uh, A L A. And then familia, um, F A M I L I A. <laughs> awesome. And where's Alan? It's, it's an Alan. Oh, Alan? so good. Oh, it's so good. What kind of food do they serve? They Italian. Oh, okay, gotcha. A lot, a lot. Uh, they have a really, really sorry. That's my ice machine um, <laughs> for my knee. Um, yeah. They uh they have a really good they have a really really good chop this this uh, veal chop oh yeah and it's, it's it's really really fantastic <laughs> uh, that's just the day another day the next day you can go to Pamela's you can go to Pamela's for for breakfast and then you get get the pancakes and then you can go ahead and go to Coupe de Ville for lunch and then head over to Eddie V's for a nice date you know what I mean like, oh yeah this is, Pittsburgh has so much to offer. It's so much to offer. Actually, you know what? One one idea that I do have is probably doing like kind of like just a business identification type, yeah, series. You know what I mean? Like just kind of just Walking just in. identify some dope dope places around the city. That's smart. 
that would be smart to do. It'd be a fun way to do it. <laughs> Going out, filling your stomach and having Absolutely. a good time, right? Absolutely. So do you do anything special for Taco Tuesday this past Tuesday? No, but we are tomorrow for uh, Porch Talk um, for nice. at my house tomorrow with the O-line. Uh, oh, chef, cool. Chef, chef Ed's about to make some tacos tomorrow. He's going to have a whole little taco and Mexican night. It's going to be fire. Nice. Well, well, now we have a new taco on the Steelers as well with Taco Charlton joining the team. And that was like he joined on Taco <laughs> Tuesday, which was a – Something that's at least hilarious. some part of us geeky stealers. We're like, oh, it's Taco Tuesday. We got Taco Tuesday. That's hilarious. <laughs> so make sure he knows that. <laughs> Every time you see that. But that's, that's fun. Cool. So so you're doing like um, porch talk for with, with the whole offensive line or is that? Yeah, the whole offensive line. And then uh, all of us come and then other guys from other positions can come over too. Oh, good that's sweet. Good fellowship. Great time. Oh, nice. Hey, you might want to invite, invite Taco over to the, uh, <laughs> the Taco game. Too. He's That'd definitely invited. Yeah, for sure. Oh, sweet. Sweet to hear, man. So uh, another question for Mighty Guru. How does Coach Clem differ, differ from Sweet Feet Sarah? Uh, Just different, man. Like, um, you know, the, it, it, to be honest with you, the transition has been great. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, Sarah did his thing. Um, and, it, you know, Unfortunately, we had to move on. But fortunately, we got a guy like Clem. You know what I mean? Right. And he's, uh, yeah, I hear. Him. I hear. Him. He, he 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 preaches a lot about physicality, and and you know, both coaches are great. Yeah. So Black and Gold Bleeder wants to know if you were a hundred percent, who would be the two starting tackles right now? <laughs> Next question. Okay. If given a preference. Do you, it says, do you prefer right tackle, left tackle? Obviously, we already talked about that. We know you're a right tackle. Yeah. yeah. And that is everything we have. The last thing that I want to talk about specifically is your B3 foundation, which we always love to shed light on every time we have you on the show. And now we're part of the DK Pittsburgh Sports Network as well. So we got picked up by them. We've got a larger exposure. And I want all of Steeler Nation through the DK system to know about your great foundation, the B3 Foundation. So tell Steeler Nation what that is about and what the great work that you're doing for them. B3foundation.org, go to the website, mm -hmm. look at all the great work we're doing. Tacoma, Washington, the greatest Seattle area, um, yep. Guam, um, my home island, um, mm -hmm. Los Angeles, where I went to school in the city of Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. um, I've built a great board around me. We're doing a lot of great things. Um, go check it out. Nice. And thank you for showing off your beautiful island tattoos, all podcasts as well. Love Chaka seeing that. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like we got Maui on the broadcast right here. He's looking great. <laughs> I'm sexier than Maui, bro. <laughs> you make sure to tell uh, uh, <laughs> Rock Johnson when you see him, when you're looking down at him, when you're right. talking to That's him. That's right? cartoon. That's yeah. cartoon. And then he just he lifts his shirt up, and I'm like, all right, I'll walk away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he is ripped. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so, Steeler Nation, that is B3, that, sorry, B3foundation.org. Go over, check it out. They do a lot for those three communities. And no better place to also be able to contribute as part of Steeler Nation to help out uh, Zach Banner and the great work that he's doing within his communities. Make sure you follow our man, Zach Banner over on Instagram, over on Twitter. When he's around to starting to post again, he'll be at, at ZBNFL and we'll be happy to interact with him there as well. Zach, thank you once again for giving your time and energy to, to help us out and uh, talk to us on the show. We always love hearing from you. I'm praying for you, man. Uh, come back healthy, come back stronger than ever. And I can't wait for you to get back, man. Shaka strike. Appreciate you, bro. Shaka, man. Talk to you soon. You too can get a great unique gift over at SteelerNation.com gear page like this awesome Steeler Nation shirt. Come over to SteelerNation.com. Give us your money. Show up. Look great at your Steeler Nation tailgates. All thanks to SteelerNation.com. It's the best site for fast, unique information, Steelers content on the internet. Click on the podcast button. Watch the awesome stuff like this. Go over to DK Pittsburgh Sports as well. The DK Pittsburgh Sports podcast as well. We're part of that network. Yinzers are there as well. You got the 412, you got Fifth Ave. It's everything you want to see for Steeler Nation. And we will keep you entertained all week long with different great, unique shows every day. Click on the forum button to be part of the best football forum and discussion on the internet. Subscribe to the Steeler Nation YouTube channel to be the first on our vidcast and our film breakdown over at 
www.youtube backslash Steeler Nation. Tweet us at Steeler Nation. Instagram us at Steeler Nation com or follow me on Twitter and Instagram at SN Striker. Striker spelled with a Y over at my bookie. Winning season has started off hot, but my bookie's continuing to crank up the heat with 50,000 survivor contests. Whether you're new or existing customer, if you've made a deposit with my bookie, you'll earn entry into that $50,000 survivor contest absolutely free. All you have to do is pick one winner each week. It's a survivor pool. You guys know how to play. Keep that streak alive to have a shot at the grand prize. So make sure you go and choose my bookie for all of your NFL contacts, contests. Head over to mybookie.ag now. Get in on the competition. Use my promo code Steelers, S-T-E-E-L-E-R-S, to receive double your first deposit and get an instant access to the $50,000 survivor pool. Again, that's promo code STEALERS to instantly double your first deposit. Bet anything, anytime, anywhere with my bookie. And don't forget, promo code STEALERS. Thanks for joining us for the SteelerNation.com podcast, sponsored by Total Sports Enterprises. I'm your host, G Striker, with Zach Banner, rooting along with you as always. Go 